this video we're going to look at two examples of multiplying monomials and polynomials. We're going to look at the differences and what to do for each one. So the first expression is multiplying monomials. The first problem is multiplying monomials. And there's no pluses or minuses, so we're just going to use exponent rules. We're going to go ahead and multiply the coefficients, and then when we do have exponents, we're going to add those exponents. So the coefficients that I see are the negative 7 and the positive 5. Multiplying those gives you negative 35. And now let's look at the variables. We have an x and an x to the fourth, and there is a, an imaginary one, or a, like a, there is a 1 that exists on that first x. We're going to add those exponents, and 1 plus 4 is 5, so x to the fifth power. Then we're going to look at the y's. We have y to the third power and y to the first power, and we're going to add those exponents and get y to the fourth power. And that is our final answer for multiplying the expression, the two monomials together. In the second example, we're going to multiply polynomials. The difference is there are pluses and minuses here, and we have to treat this differently. So we're going to use what we're calling the box method. I'm going to draw a 3 by 2 box because I'm multiplying a, a binomial by a trinomial. I've got two terms multiplied by three terms. The negative 3x plus 2, I'm going to put that on the 2 side, so the negative 3x and the 2. And then across the top, we're going to put the negative 5x squared, the 4x, and the negative 4. I'm just concerned right now about the signs because I'd like to multiply all of these things together. So what we're going to do is multiply to go into the box, and when we multiply these expressions, we are going to add exponents. So you will touch the exponents going in. The first two are the negative 3x and the negative 5x squared. Negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15, and adding the exponents, 1 plus 2 is 3. In the second box, we're going to do the negative 3x and the 4x, and negative 3 times positive 4 is negative 12, and then adding those two x's is going to give us x squared. In the third box, we're going to multiply the negative 3x times the negative 4, and that gives us positive 12x. Okay, and along the bottom, the first box, we're going to do 2 times negative 5x squared, and that is negative 10x squared. In the second box on the bottom, 2 times 4x is positive 8x, and in that last square, it's 2 times negative 4, which gives us a negative 8. All right. Now, in order to get these terms out of the box and finish the problem, we are going to add like terms. We're not going to touch exponents at this stage. We just want to know which ones are the like terms. We want to combine those. Well, the 15x to the third power, that's the only x to the third power that I see. So we're going to take that out by itself. I see two x squared terms. We've got a negative 10x squared and a negative 12x squared. We're going to combine those like terms. The negative 10 plus the negative 12 is going to give us a negative 22. And we're going to pull that out as a negative 22x squared, combining just those like terms, not touching the exponents. Okay, let's look at the x's. We've got a 12x and an 8x, and we're going to add those. 8 plus 12 is 20, so we're going to pull that out and call it 20x. And last but not least, we have the negative 8, and that's just going to stay a minus 8. Now we have pulled it out, we have a new polynomial, and that polynomial is our final answer.